Good morning. I'm a little bit late this morning for high five, but I'm here now. Uh, internet problems and um, trying to teach an old dog new tricks, but I learn. I learn. God bless you. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, Holy Communion. And, you know, the word Eucharist is used in, in uh, Holy Communion. And where that Greek word comes from is from 1 Corinthians 11, 24. It, it, uh, it, sa it uh, says, take, eat. This is my body that is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. But first, it's, I forgot the first part. And when he had given thanks. Now that word given thanks is Eucharisto. And that's where you get the word Eucharist from. And so Eucharist, the, the communion, uh, calling it Eucharist, means to be thankful, to be thankful. You know, we don't want to be like Job. Remember Job, when, when he was um, making sacrifices every day for his children, he was doing it in fear. He was doing it in fear, and he was, he was uh, doing the uh, offerings, he was doing it in fear. We need to be doing it in faith. And one one of the most powerful thing acts is uh, in faith is being thankful. You know you can you can you can try to have faith. You can act like you have faith, but when you're thankful, that's that is a great act of faith. And uh, you know when we're standing in the, in the gap, you know, when we're taking communion for yourself, that's one thing. But when you're standing in the gap for for your family, you want your you want your faith to be active and powerful. Um, the word communion comes from koinonia, uh, and it means fellowship, association, community, joint participation. And uh, John 6, 22 to 29, Jesus said things like, I am, the, I am the bread from heaven. I'm the living bread that came from, from heaven. And then he starts saying, eat my body and drink my blood. You know, that really offended a lot of people. Number one, they were the people that he was talking to were familiar with him. They were familiar with him. They they knew him growing up in Nazareth. They they knew his mother was Mary. They knew um, the man who who brought him up was Joseph. Um, they knew his family, so they were very familiar with him. And you can get familiar with anything, and and all of a sudden it starts losing its power. Now I want to. Um, you know, because that's one thing that's happened with religious tradition. Religious tradition is void of power, and we don't want our us to be void of power. Now, Hebrews ten twenty nine reads, Of how much worse punishment do you suppose will be thought worthy, who has trampled the Son of God underfoot and counted the blood of the covenant, which he was sanctified, a common thing, and insulted the Spirit of grace? You know, this is the only time in the Bible that the word insult is used. And it's M -M -Briso, e -N -B -R -I -Z -O, and it means to insult. And so, you know, people talk a lot about grieving the Holy Spirit and, and, and stuff. But this is insulting the Holy Spirit when you treat the communion elements as common. You know, in, in the book of Acts, common is used three different times. And in Acts 10, 14, 28, and 11, 8. And each time it means unclean. Now, you don't want to treat, uh, be, be so familiar with the communion elements that you treat, treat it as being common. You know, um, remember Eucharist means to give thanks. Eucharist means to give thanks. And one thing, um, Romans uh, 1, 21 says, because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were they thankful and became futile in their thoughts and their foolish, foolish hearts were darkened. You know, if being unthankful brings you into darkness, then being thankful brings you into light. Amen. And, uh, you know, the second Timothy three, two warns us that being unthankful is one of the signs of the last days. And so one thing we don't want to be in communion is don't, don't treat it, um, is something you're familiar with. Take time and thank Jesus. Thank him. Uh, thank him for his body that he was broken for you. Thank him for taking the stripes upon the back for you. Uh, just thank him for being that, that sacrifice, that Lamb of God who took away the sins of the whole world. And uh, God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.